Alrighty, welcome everybody to another episode here in Grounded. Uh, we are on our way up to the upper yard once again. Uh, we've got our fancy new termite axe, our tier 3 axe with us. And uh, we're gonna go gather some new materials. Um, I know that I, I had originally said we were gonna jump straight into the termite mound. Uh, try to clear all of that out. Um, but after thinking it through a little bit, uh, in the time between episodes, I do think that it's going to be smart for us to, uh, gather a little bit more materials and try to level up our armor and then take on the rest of the termite mound. Um, so I've got our axe equipped and we're going to try to get the little bit of, uh, stuff that we need in order to make, um... One or both of the uh, Black Ox armor or the Roly Poly armor. Um, and uh, basically, we were just waiting on this Tier 3 axe to be able to get the materials needed for that. Um, I did go ahead and I, I sorted through our inventory since last time. We got all of our other armor healed up. Mm -hmm. I went ahead and made some of those uh, fungus pachos that we were uh, talking about last time. Um, so we've got some much better meals, uh, at least to start out here. Um, and uh, yeah, so we are, for now, it's kind of an interesting little spot. Oh, there's some upgrade materials here. Um. We're going to just rearrange our hot bar a touch. <laughs> and there we go. Uh, we'll grab that and then continue on our way to look for the little bit of stuff that we need. Uh, so right up here... Uh, that is part one of what we need. Uh, but it is guarded by the ladybirds. Uh, I believe that the ladybirds are best dealt with, um, by using our... Is that over there? Oh, it's a poor aphid fell. Uh, but I think we're supposed to use our mint mace on these guys. I'm gonna see if he'll jump up here, actually. You want, you want to come up? You want to come up? I would actually prefer if you jumped up here. Is that too tall for you? I guess it is. Well, we can... We'll, we'll cheese this one with our crossbow. Unless he does end up finding a way to jump up here, and then we'll we'll take that one head on. I just don't want to end us up in a situation where we're fighting two at once. But once we clear these ladybirds out, we'll be able to uh, take on or harvest up these uh, these pupa that are hanging underneath the deck. And get the pupa leather. I know I'm missing some of the shots here because I'm hitting the rock. Some of these hitboxes are a little tricky, especially when we're dealing with third person like this. But that should do it. Um, oh, there is a new heart for ladybirds. I think we had taken down one and got like a lady... Yeah, we got ladybug parts. But there is a ladybird part as well. We'll at least get this guy's attention real quick. And then pull out our mint mace. Oh, I didn't time that right. Oh, double. Okay. 
Well, there we go. Easy enough. Uh, more ladybird shells, all right. Uh, I'm curious to see what those are gonna be used for. I think that's new. But we're just gonna shoot down a bunch of these pupa. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So we should be looking for ten of these. And... There we go. I was gonna say, I should have at least one chunk there that I can pick up. There's the third. I always find with these pupa that they are one of the harder ones to, like, quickly figure out which chunk is the real chunk. Because as with, like, almost all of the resources that you, like, chop or bust, like, you get a bunch of, like, the fake ones that burst out initially, and then they just disappear. And because you get, like, a ton of those, but only one or two real, it's always tricky. Okay, I've, I've forgot to keep counting, so hopefully, excuse me, hopefully we can properly keep track here. Uh, but we're doing pretty well. We're up to 16 pupa hide. And we should have more, I think, on the other side of this little area. Um, we're kind of right along... Yeah, I th okay, I think that should be everything. We can come collect this. Yes. Yeah. And, oh good, there's marble up here too. I was kind of hoping. Okay. Let's see what else is maybe hiding up here in the very edge bits. Don't see much else over here. Oh, pardon me, I'm just throwing my mouse around. Uh, oh, looks like more pupa up here and some more marble. Might have to pull out my torch to find some of these pupa once I knock them down. It is a little bit dark. I think I got all of the leather bits there. Yeah, that's just a pebblet. And we've got another ladybird. This mace just absolutely does work. It honestly was not even worth cheesing that first ladybird. This mace takes them out so much faster. I guess it's still safer, technically, because that second ladybird that we fought did get a decent amount of damage on me, but... Uh, nothing back there. Okay. Let's get our crossbow back out. Get these last few down. And get ready to chop. Uh, where? There he goes. Four, 
anymore. Yep. And get our arrows. Okay. That's looking pretty good for under here. We can come back out into the sunshine now. I guess still in the shade, but a lot brighter than we were under the porch. I think I'll go ahead and take out this ladybird here too, just in case those parts are gonna be useful. Oh, bad block and it's the double. There we go. I guess I do have uh, my increased attack damage meal on. I think that's what this does. Uh, no, just attack stamina. Okay. Couldn't remember what that little sword icon meant down in my bottom left under my scabby. Okay, so how are we doing here? We've got 22 pupa hide, uh, 5 ladybird shells. All that's pretty good. Um, I think... For the rest of this, we need to head back up to um, the upper side of the uh, the shed porch. I will have to be careful getting down. Um, I actually put our toxicology badge back on um, for this dust guard. Uh, just since the, the termites, um, and the, uh, the dust mites both spit dust, um, I figured that that might be a smart, smart thing to have. Um, I guess I'll take those. It's nice to actually have the black ant parts when it comes to time to repair our shields. But for now, we are running this way. Oh, I want to get stuck in the hoses. And speaking of shield, I should get that out if I'm going to be using the mace. Okay. While we're up here. Never remember the ant attack timings. Alright, hopefully that's all the ants we have to deal with for just a bit. Then we can take care of all these dust mites. Nope, soldier ant wants to maybe come have a fight. that one. Normally I wouldn't take quite so long to fight the dust mites and I might just run and hit all these different lint spots, but I think we need the dust mite fuzz at the moment, so it is worth taking these guys all out. So I think, if I remember right, we can use these for the splinter arrows. And then, uh, I think it was the black ox armor that took dust mite, um, fuzz. But real quick, while we have a second, let's grab this chunk of lint. 
And then we'll worry about more mites. I think that this badge is helping a lot, actually. Since we're mostly just getting the, um... The dust attacks. We're basically not really taking <laughs> damage, it feels like. Um, and I think that these guys are weak to salt. You know what they said? Maybe it was mint. Yeah, it was mint, definitely. We'll just go bop them. Here we go, and our last chunk of lint. Okay. So there's all of that. We definitely are going to need to harvest uh, some more, um, uh, what's it called? Um, black ox beetle parts. Uh, I think we were short, like, one, one ox beetle part in order to make that armor, um, if that's the way we choose to go. And, uh, again, I'd like to have that option. Uh, one other thing that we might do is just pop down here for a second. Um, because we have not been over here. Taking a look. There's a little red thing. That's interesting. Because we you have another be friend over here. We've got a new, a new, tougher version of Mr. Stinky hiding behind the fertilizer. Uh, what is he? Is he vulnerable to? Uh, twelve green shield bug, fresh. Mint mace it is, and I believe our toxicology badge. I'm gonna throw on maybe a, a bandage. We're going to take a sip of water. Don't even need to boil it. And we might just kind of go for it. And if it goes terribly, then we'll just shoot him a lot. Instead, wait. There he is. Oh boy, this guy has some health. Alright, let's hit... A heal. We're doing okay on the poison, we just have to occasionally drink a smoothie. Speaking of which, let's do that. Almost got him. All right, so we got green shield bug parts and a super stink sack. Not too shabby. Um, let's see what else we can find in here. Uh, I might go ahead and take our torch out.
Looks like there are gonna be some upgrade materials. I did kill a few bugs. Like, yeah, I killed a mosquito on the way over here that I don't really care about. I don't need that. Um... Okay, that at least gets us a bit more... A bit more inventory space. And that way we can harvest, we can make sure we can harvest all of this stuff. Wait. Hopcap? Wait, we can do something with this? Um, okay. I didn't actually think that we would be able to do anything with this, but that is very interesting. There's another cap over here. Get our quartzite. What in the world are we gonna use gunpowder for? I think this is our last one. And then we've got a little bit more quartzite. I may have missed um, a little bit of... I wonder if I can, like, I shoot the gun. That would actually be really funny. I imagine that there's, like, a scabby hidden, hidden here somewhere as well. Um... Holding my hands to my face makes me see any better than with my glasses. I think it does, Pete. Um, yeah, I bet there's a scabby hidden around here somewhere. We'll come back and find it one day. That's too, like, contained of an area for there not to be a scabby. Alright, we can put our light away. Grab our torch, or grab our shield back out. And then, if I remember correctly, there's also one more source of lint right around here. Uh, yes, right over there, there's a garden glove. It should have a couple more chunks of, of lint on it for us. We can make our way over to it, and that actually kind of works perfectly. Uh, because... Ugh, gotta grab them before they fall down into the ravine. Um... This will lead us over near the, um... Uh, the ox beetles. We still need to take at least one of them out today. A scientific breakthrough. I think that might be all on that glove. So I do need to be a little careful here, because again, I don't have... Oh, there's a milk molar. Um, I don't have a, a parachute. Um, but maybe we just kind of go for it. Anyway. I see milk molars and I get excited. Plus raw science. Let's go. Alright. Uh, do I have too many dangerous things waiting for me down below? Ooh. Oh yeah, sturdy model here. I will happily take that. We're not- we're- and I- I still stand by this. We're not exploring the whole ravine today. But. This is conveniently right here. And we're just headed right over there. So. Oh, and there's some pupa. 
So that is quite convenient. But we'll just head right up this leaf and I have to remind myself uh, these guys um, big ol' ox beetles salty so they they need the mace oh gosh we got two pretty close to each other that's a bit scary Good lightning hit. He was right about to hit me. enough um but our way out has another or our easiest way out which is this way has another so we might just take him out and i might lure him all the way back here so i'm less likely to deal with any larva come here buddy come on Come to me. Yeah, come back here. Getting good blocks in at least. Yeah, I was hoping that would happen. Like, we blocked a lot. We better get some lightning. <laughs> Filled up our pack. Um, I'm actually going to use our last smoothie here so that I can take my mace out. And just have a bit more of that flexibility. Oh, no gunk on that one. And I'm not worried about all the larva parts that I'm leaving behind. But uh, then if they happen to drop any gunk, we'll collect that. Actually, this is a good way to head back down. Burn your feet, Pete. Got kind of the charcoal serving as a ramp right here. All right, well, let's head back home, drop off some of the supplies, and see what we can craft. Okay, so we have made it back home here. So we've got um, a lot of these materials. I'll go ahead and put away uh, what we know about. But we still have quite a few of these uh, that need to be dealt with that are uh, brand new. And what 
<laughs> well, it's going to be tough. This is actually going to take more than two full research stations to deal with. Um, but before we go to sleep for the night, what we're actually going to try to do um, in order to make sure that we can get some of this like pupa leather done quickly is um, make a couple of jerky racks. We've got larva payback coming. Oh no. Alright, um... They are attacking here, right? Yeah. Can I just go meet them? Yeah, I see them over there. That's actually just a bombardier beetle and a ladybug and a weevil. Um. <clears throat> Last time this happened, there was like no actual payback for a while, so I'm skeptical. Uh, well, we're just gonna chill until actual payback comes. Okay, so we need bombardier parts and crude rope. Um, I'm gonna use up basically all the bombardier parts that we've got. And we don't have any rope, unfortunately. So we're just gonna have to make a bunch ourselves. And so that's going to be, what, six times one, two, three, four. So we need 24 brood rope. All right, I made a bunch extra just so that we can have some stored up. Uh, let me pull my torch back out for you until the payback actually arrives. Um, alright, so then what we're gonna do here... ...is start hanging up the, uh, the pupa. So that it will turn into leather. And then the other thing that we need to do... Um, oh, we can't do it until we have researched lint. I was gonna say we should get some spinning going... Uh, to do the, uh, the lint. Um, okay, so we need acorn tops, clay, red ant, sap, and rope. Uh, red ant, clay, sap, acorn tops. Oh, and I just took a bunch of extra stuff. Uh, yep, that was box. Oh, I think I maybe hear some stuff coming outside. Okay. Uh, now we can fully put some more of this away that in there. Uh, I think I was keeping this in here. And... Yeah, that all needs to be researched, and I think the rest of this we want on hand. Uh, let's run outside and see if we can find our larva. Uh, once again, I don't exactly believe that the payback is coming. Based on our previous experience, anyway. Nice 
kitchen clean. Yeah, there's just like nothing out here as far as I can tell. So we're just gonna we're gonna grab a new dandelion and try to go research some of our new stuff while we're waiting on this payback, because I actually can't sleep while we have payback happening. Alright, well, we've made it to our research. And now we have to choose what to research. Uh, we definitely need to analyze our lint. Oh, and I think we just successfully completed our, uh, our attack. I think that's what that little sound in the background was. Um, so I think the pupa hide isn't going to help us to research that much because it's really the leather that we need and we're getting that by drying it. I think that just by analyzing this, it's going to teach us how to get the leather. Um, I think maybe we try this and the gunpowder just because I'm most curious about those two parts. Oh, a new shield? And then what's the gunpowder used for? A flare. Oh, we're five off from leveling up again. Okay, at 218. Um, so we're gonna maybe stay... No, what we're gonna do is drop back down to our home, get some of this lint uh, made into rope, and then come back up here. By the time we do that, we'll be able to analyze some more things. All right, well, I decided to go ahead and just sleep instead so that we'll have light to work by, because I got back to the base and it was just pitch black, and that was a pain. Plus, this way, we will have uh, our pupil leather ready and uh, we can hang a bit more of it. So let's look at some of the stuff that we did research real quick. Uh, first of all, I, I'm so curious about that shield. Oh my gosh, we can actually make it. And I still think that maybe we do the ox armor. I think we're gonna go for it. So there's the helmet. There's the harness, and there are the leggings. Let's check this out. That keep me safe. Mm, safe fur. All right, there is Barbarian Pete. So overbearing charged attacks have a high chance to lower enemy damage dealt. Okay. And then, Stunning Charger. Your charge attacks with melee weapons. Pack a weightier punch, dealing more stun damage than normal. Um, I don't know what my charge attacks are. Was there anything else? Oh, the, uh, the hammer. I forgot about the hammer. Um... Okay, I think that we, we're going to wait on the hammer, I think, until next time so that we can worry about termites. If we get through the termite hill really quickly, um, we'll hunt down a couple of black ox beetles on our way out and get those last few black ox parts. I really should have done the really poly armor and the hammer. Um, I didn't think about that. Okay. So, in our armor... Okay. We need to equip that, and that also needs to go in that hotbar spot. Uh, our this, uh, we can put our old antlion stuff. Ooh, I guess this is fully leveled up. Uh, let's see if we can do that real quick with our black ox. Um, and then quick charge. Okay, we don't have anything with charging, so I'm reluctant. Maybe we do stick with antlion for now. Uh... 
Uh, yeah, I think that we might. I know that that's kind of boring after we just worked so hard and delayed everything to get different armor, but I think that I should have done the other set if I was going to do that. I think I do regret that after all, because the charging stuff, I think that that's maybe weapons and things that we don't have yet. Um, all right. So, we're out of smoothies, which could be a problem. Uh, we still have a fungus bacho, which I'm going to wait as long as I can to eat. Uh, we should put our gunpowder away. I should see what that does, though. And then we still need to research all of that. Devices, a flare. A disposable, throwable light made from a fire ant part and a gunpowder clump. Very interesting. That could actually be really helpful in some of these areas if I'm not wanting to use, use something to drink. the headlamp. I can pull that out, throw it on the ground. Oh, it turns out... Alright, payback was delivered. They eventually got here and busted through a wall. Okay. Alright, so we're running over here to the former haze real quick to find, most likely, uh, infected uh, mites. Um, we basically are out of mite fuzz, and I do want to get some more smoothies real quick. We're gonna make up some more uh, fuzz on the rocks. Uh, are those just lightning bugs coming over there? Taking a look. What are they doing? Um, we're gonna make up some more fuzz on the rocks real quick, and then we'll be ready to head on over. Should be all right to go ahead and make some good fuzz on the rocks. Yeah. That will at least be a decent amount. And uh, we might have a couple more here. Uh, no, it does not look like it, but that's all right. Um, Let's get the rest of our inventory put away, and uh, we will scan the rest of these another time. I'm going to keep those just in the bottom of that chest uh, so we don't forget about it, and uh, that should be pretty good. Let's make sure we have everything that we need. We've got food, water, healing. We need regular old bandages. That is what we need. Uh, tools, bandages. Um, we've got... Oh, that's a spare dandelion. I've got one equipped right now. Um. Yep, I think that looks good. We don't need our old shield anymore, so let's get to it. Okay, you know what? I know that we need one more t one more roly-poly part. So we're just gonna get it. Far more than one really poly park. Perfect. Oh, it's just a black ox beetle. Okay. I was like, what kind of monster just made that noise? Thank <laughs> you. 
There's a couple more black ox parts. Okay, well, we've made it back over to uh, right near the termite mound. This is actually the cooking fire we used um, a few episodes back. And I think that we're going to try to build uh, a quick little lean-to here. Um, so there's the sprigs. We just need a couple of clover leaves. I have no idea if there's actually clover over here. But we could really use to sleep. Let's go ahead and check our status effects here and just make sure we do indeed have the right things on. Um, I've enjoyed having the Shocking Dismissal. Um, cardio Fan, uh, the Hyper Stamina uh, seems to be good to me. The Fresh Defense I don't actually think helps us. Uh, spicy Safety might be good. Um... Let's see any of these other ones so while we're using our mace apparently like barbarian might be good um we could try it for a bit and see how that goes and then critical hit chance would obviously be good so maybe we try that for a bit and if that goes terribly wrong uh, then we will pivot. Um, let's go ahead then and eat our, um, eat our meal, grab some water, and jump on in. I also, before we jump fully in, I need to, uh, put our other, uh, put this on. There we go. Uh, okay, so we need to make our way up here. Can I climb this? I can, we can bypass that first little tunnel that we have explored before. Make it up to here. And you know what? We're gonna collect some splinters along the way because we don't have that many. And no, we're not going to grab all of them. And I think I have gone the wrong way. Uh, and actually, we're going to put our dandelion back on for just a second. This is an easy splinter to get. Uh, because I think the way I've been getting in is right here. Well, sadly, the shield has to go now. And we... 
carry on. All right, all of this is new. We do want to make sure that we have bandages going kind of at all time. Not bad. All right. We continue. Okay, upgrade materials. We're going to push a little further. Just to make sure we're safe. It looks like we are. Let's grab it. All right. Good timing. Boom. Or a menace. I don't think we're gonna get invited back to the termite nest. There we go. My goodness, we're already at 27 termite parts. Alright, let's go down this way real quick and grab the science. Okay, this looks like another entrance, too. This, this might be easier to get into from above because it's not quite as steep. Guys, further back in, I can see a lot of termites up ahead. Uh oh, they're all coming. Oh, I've got one behind me now, too. Two behind me. Not be stupid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, we've upgraded our barbarian. I, I'm not exactly sure what it does, but... We're going to say it's helping. That's what, if, if you're wondering what the weird pink glow is around my screen right now, that is the barbarian effect. I'm going to get a new bandage on because that is not currently active. What is a bee doing in here? Like, actually, though, what in the world? Oh, 
power of Helion, champion of the sun! Okay. Jeez, there's still a bunch more in here. I got out. I got out that. Come on. I'm really nervous about my torch. Okay. Oh my my my. We're gonna we're gonna put the torch away for a second. We can actually see right here. I really should have brought an extra torch in with me. That was the one thing I did not really consider. Um, all right. Get some get some candy. Yeah. Filled all of our slots. What can I get rid of? Uh, well, we can eat a mushroom. Oh, worse than my mom's Brussels sprouts. Um, let's sort everything. That might help. Uh, we can trash a stack of acid glands because we get those pretty easily. We can trash a sprig. And that gets us a few slots again. Alright, and I think we only take maybe one stack of splinters with us for now. Try to not use my torch as much as I can help it. Holding yeah. raw science in my hands. Alright. Alright, we'll, we'll put it on for this, though. All hail the termite king! Lord of gnashing teeth, tree bane, razor of kingdoms, fester of wood and bark. Oh my, that, that hurt. Oh, that really hurt. Oh, he he knocks you back real bad. Oh, 
Oh gosh, I'm almost dead. Can I lure you out here? Yes. Gosh. Um. Wait. Did he not drop? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. We need to. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And get rid of that because we already have 75 termite parts. Uh, is it just the termite king carapace that we get from him? I guess so. Okay. Oh my, my, my. Oh, sorry I did not like talk at all during that. My health got so dangerously low so many times there that scared me. So that's the Termite King. And there is a Burgle Chip. Um, alright. Let's trash that. And see what we can pick up now. Oh gosh, what else do I not need? You know what? We're gonna get rid of the B parts. We can get those at our house so easily because they literally live right above us. Alright, we still have a milk molar nearby somewhere. And our torch is on its last legs. There's a milk molar. Oh, that's Supreme Quartzite. That's when I'm sad that I did not allocate our resources better earlier, because we could have collected it. So I guess we'll have to fight our way back in here another time. And there's yet another milk molar. We do still have another tunnel to go down, so... Technically, two tunnels. This one is next. Aha! Here's our milk molar. So we get both kinds of milk molars here. Boom. So many mushrooms here. I love these kinds of mushrooms. Those are really cool. I wish that that was just like a different kind of mushroom rather than a mushroom chunk. And what is down here? I think I hear more termites crawling around. Oh, our torch is so almost dead. Oh, the termite sees me. Ah, scabby.
interesting. Sturdy, sturdy. Okay, I'm going to drop that because I don't need one acorn top. It is very interesting that that was here. Um, alright. Nice and clean. Drink a drop of juice. And head on out. I think that we are about done here. I don't really want acid glands. Anything, I would take more termite chunks, but... Alright, anything else exciting in here? Yep, just a little bit. And then we are out! And this place should look familiar. Oh, and right as our torch dies. That could not have been better timing. Oh, there's a wolfie. Uh, let's get that bad boy equipped. Get on out of here. Oh man, well, that was quite the adventure through the termite hill. Well, that is the wood pile, ladies and gentlemen. I think that we have thoroughly covered it now. Uh, there's still like those couple of uh, supreme rocks that we'll have to collect once we actually make our tier four hammer. Uh, but that'll be a job for next time, uh, whenever we're... So we'll, we'll be able to get our Tier 4 hammer next time. Um, we'll make the other set of armor. We'll, we'll finish off that roly-poly armor. And uh, we can deliver that chip that we got today to Burgle. And um, we'll, uh, we'll go through all this loot and uh, see what we can do with it. Research all these other new parts that we got. But... That will do it for today. So, uh, thank you all for sticking with me through a, a definitely a long episode today, but uh, that was some exciting stuff. I'm glad that we made it through the uh, the termite hill slash wood pile. Um, and uh, that was uh, that was some good stuff. Um, oh, and next time we can also there was that like small entrance over near all the black black ox beetles. Um, that was uh, that also had some termites in it that we can also check out next time. But uh, anyway, we will we will leave that to then. As always, everybody, thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe to help you find the next one. And I will see you all again very soon for some more grounded. See ya.